Oh, uh, hey. Yeah, just, it's better if you just don't question why I'm up here. Anyways, I like to do very impossible things on this channel, or at least try to. It doesn't, it usually it doesn't go to plan. <laughs> Today I decided why not try and paint a picture blindfolded and then sell it online. Let's go. Oh, what? Why am I in a tree? This is not where I wanted to go. All right, can we go to the right place this time? Holy cow. Right, what are the rules? Well, I'm gonna have, of course, a blindfold over my eyes so that I cannot see anything that I'm doing. Other than that, I'm gonna be able to look three times at each painting. Other thing, you may notice I have some cups over here. I've labeled each of them with some sort of thing I can feel. This is so I know what color I'm painting with. This might be a bit ambitious. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a sunset with some grass in front, you know, maybe a little lake in there, some trees. Is it gonna fail miserably? Most likely. <laughs> this is not a good idea. Why did I come up with this? I think we're good to go. So the one thing left to do is for me to get blindfolded and start painting. So I can officially see nothing. If you didn't know, I already painted a Bob Ross painting with no hands, which went interestingly. One thing I know that we're supposed to do was cover the canvas in white. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a big brush and cover this entire canvas with white paint. Let's just grab a cup here. Oh, yo, that's the eye. Oh, nice, I got it. That's white, okay. <laughs> Let's get this in here. Hopefully have some paint on there. All right, and we start now. I hope I have paint on my brush. Let's find this canvas and start painting away. <laughs> oh no, dude, this is not gonna go well. How am I gonna know what I'm doing? I'm not. Now I'm hoping at this point, my canvas is entirely covered in white. The first thing we need in a good sunset is some yellow. All right, I should have some yellow on there. Right here is where we want our yellow. Really just dab it in. That should be towards the top of the canvas. We should be good. I think I actually feel confident about that. What do I need now, orange? Oh, there we go, there's our button. Where's the wet paint? Right there, okay. So let's toss this maybe right here. And then hopefully get around that nice yellow. All right, so if I did this correctly, I should have a nice yellow area with most of it being orange on the outside. I wanna use a look, but I'm like scared. <laughs> Does that make sense? Wait, let me feel around the edges. Oh, that's completely dry. Let's toss some orange up in this corner here. I'm gonna take a look now, see where we're at, and then fill my cup with some more yellow. Oh my, how did I get paint out here? <laughs> paint out here. I happen to paint most of my canvas. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Put this down. I can see nothing. Okay, right around there I think is where I want it. So, I don't know. Let's just go for it, I guess. So, I really just want to dab some white clouds on there. That's the only goal of this. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not even gonna bother. I think what I'm gonna start doing now is I need to add some green down here for some grass. This is gonna be terrible, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. I'm not gonna be able to sell this. What am I thinking? Imagine I hit the canvas. <laughs> that would suck. So like in here, maybe. I feel like I'm failing miserably at what I'm doing right now. Let's go in this corner. Oh, I might've gone too far in the center. Really just get that in. <laughs> There's no way this is gonna be good, dude. There's no way. <laughs> Take some blue, find my dry area. We'll go right here. So we should be good up to here. Really just get that in, you know? You just wanna make it so good that people will buy it, even if it looks terrible. I'm gonna take a look. Yo, hold up a second. That actually doesn't look half bad. I mean, it's bad. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's really bad. But like, considering I'm blindfolded, it's not bad bad. Okay, let's do this. Just put that right there. Oh, I forgot where I put it. I forgot where I put the tree. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go for it, honestly. Right in here. Just dab that in. And that should be about most of the tree if I have the right area. That might be terrible. Don't know. <laughs> oh God, the blindfold is in my mouth. Try and add some bushes on the edge of the lake. Let's go like right there. Dab it in. All right, that should be good. I think I got the bushes in the right area. The goal here is I need to add some shimmer onto the lake. Just some nice brush strokes of white right down the lake. I think that should be very beautiful. This should be so beautiful and elegant that no one will ever not buy it. Get this in here, and then I'm gonna try and add some more sun right here. Let's 
So let's add some of this in there. I might not even be painting in the lake to be real with you, but we're gonna hope I am is what we're gonna do. Let's just, oh wait, I probably should have checked. I don't, I might be painting in things I don't wanna be painting in. I don't even know. Who knows, dude, who knows? Oh, I do not feel confident at all. I think I'm gonna call that the final product. Please, for the love of God, be good. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, final painting. Yo! Hold up, I accidentally made an amazing shimmer on that lake. How did I do that? How did I do that? That's the final painting. Now I'm gonna do a painting that is more of a abstract style. We're just gonna try something and see how it comes out. <laughs> Wow, I did not miss this. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dip this into the blue paint. Ready? <laughs> this is an experiment and a half. I'm gonna back up. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Three, two, one. I'm getting it more on me than I think I am anything else. I kinda wanna go red. Oh, that's red, okay. I don't know if I'm doing anything. It's getting on me again and I don't like it. I'm gonna use one of my looks here. Let's take this off and take a look. Okay, actually that's kind of cool. I mean, all right, well, so far we have a decent splatter painting. Now we need yellow. Let's go ahead and grab some yellow. Grab one of these empty cups. And now what I wanna try and do is paint the rim of the cup and then stamp it on the canvas. I don't know, I'm just trying things, okay? Let's go like right here. Stamp that all in there. Hopefully this is actually working. All right, let's go right here. Get that right on there. Here, like maybe right here. I'm gonna open my eyes and look at this painting and it's gonna be done. This is the final product. Three, two, one. Actually, that's kind of cool. There it is. There is the final painting. Actually, not bad. You know, it kind of looks cool. I'm actually not upset about this. I will see you guys very soon when I list these on eBay to try and auction them off. Now we have to go on to the next step. We now have to list our two paintings. All right, the title of our listing is going to be Abstract Splatter Painting 12 by 12 Canvas Painted Blindfolded for Charity. And yep, that's right. Any proceeds I get from this painting, I'm going to donate to a charity. Go ahead, add our photo. All right, our title for this one is going to be Lake Sunset Painting Painted Blindfolded for Charity 12 by 12 Canvas. All right, let's go ahead and put in our picture for this painting. The two paintings are listed and I will see you guys tomorrow with a check-in to see where they're at and maybe we'll do something else to promote them a little bit more. All right guys, if you go to my Instagram bio right now, you're gonna see an eBay link. If you click on it, it's gonna take you to eBay with two paintings of mine that I am currently auctioning off. Bid something if you can, you're helping out charity by bidding. Thanks guys. All right, so what you guys just saw is I, I made an Instagram story to let you guys know that this is actually happening before anyone is seeing this video. If you guys want to check out my Instagram and be included in future videos, check it out. But other than that, our paintings have officially been on eBay for over 24 hours. Right now, we have six views and two views and no bids. But right now I'm thinking tomorrow we will probably do something else also to help promote these paintings. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow with day two. Well, it's been exactly 24 more hours and after the Instagram story, we now have five views and nine views. I had a backup plan this whole time and it's involving something I have never once used in my life, TikTok. Here's my plan. I'm gonna take my YouTube editing skills and my stellar commentary skills to make a stellar ad on TikTok. I'm gonna make it as catchy as possible so that as many people will check out the paintings as possible. That's what I'm gonna do right now. All right guys, I have spent way too long editing a one minute trailer. <laughs> I've literally been editing this trailer for over an hour and a half. But either way, I just made an account and I'm about to put the video up to go. But first, let's roll the trailer. Ah! Is this thing on? All right.
Good. Listen up, this is the most important thing you will hear on this app in the next 24 hours, I guarantee it. In the last two days, I've spent my time making two paintings completely blindfolded with no vision, and now I'm trying to auction them off on eBay for a YouTube video. My plan was to auction these off on eBay over the course of three days and make a ton of money for charity, but right now, they have exactly zero dollars made. 24 hours left. Point is, I'm in trouble. This is my first time ever posting on this app and I'm relying on your help. What I need you to do is go check out the auctions right here and then like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. Bid on the auctions if you can. All the money raised from these two paintings are gonna go directly to an organization which is helping support blindness prevention throughout the entire world. I only have 24 hours left to complete my mission and right now <laughs> I'm completely failing. I need your help. <laughs> I'm about to publish it for good, hopefully, by some gracious stroke of luck, this will go viral. I'll see you guys in the morning with our final check-in before the final standings for this video. All right, it is officially day four, and at the moment, I'm pretty sure we are not doing great, but I haven't really checked since last night when I posted the TikTok, so we will see where we are at. What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I forgot that existed. Son of a gun. All right. Well, I guess we're doing this. I forgot it existed, quite frankly. The bucket of challenges. I'm going to pick a challenge and I have to do whatever the challenge says. As you know, we are doing this in every single episode of this channel from now on. If you didn't already know this, you can leave a comment down below telling me your challenge bucket idea and I'll put your name on the challenge and then place it in the bucket and maybe you'll get picked in the next episode. All right, I'm mixing up the challenges and I'm gonna pick one for the episode. This episode's challenge is in my hand. Here we go. In three, two, one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nerf gun spray. Well, my little brothers are gonna have fun with this one. That's all I'm gonna say. Honestly, this doesn't sound too bad. You know, I think I'm fine. I think this should be okay. Nerf gun spray, I'll be fine, all right? I will be perfectly fine. There's nothing that could possibly, oh, oh. oh, you've got to be kidding me. These are my two little brothers and they are absolutely loaded to the brim with Nerf guns right now. What they're gonna do is basically, when I say go, just unload on me until they're out of ammo. This is gonna hurt. Three, two, one, fire. Oh, no! Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, God, they hurt from this close. Oh, my God, don't hit me in the eye. Oh, God, the ball gun. The ball gun. Ow! Oh, God, those feel like paintballs. Ow! God. Well, that was entertaining for them. Back to the video after I now clean up my pain. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my video on TikTok and see how many views it got. Here we go. 293 views, 39 likes, and we gained three followers. And now I'm gonna go ahead and check the eBay auctions. Yeah. Okay. There's officially four hours left on these auctions and they still only have five views and 12 views. I'm in trouble. I'm officially completely out of ideas. <laughs> this is not looking good for me. <laughs> All right, it has officially been three full days of our paintings being on eBay auction, and it is time to check the final standings. I don't have, I don't have much hope for this, but we're gonna find out. So I'm in eBay right now. We're gonna go ahead and go to the sellers tab, and they didn't, they didn't sell. I tried so hard to sell these paintings for charity, so hard. Wait a second, I've got one last idea. Hang, hang on, one second. All right, I've got the two paintings right here and I have one last idea on how to sell these paintings. Here we go, ready? Can I sell these to you for a dollar? Sure. Yep, that's right. I just sold them to my little brother for four quarters, one dollar. So what are we gonna do with that dollar? Well, I'm gonna go over to the Fred Hollows Foundation, which is where I was gonna donate the money. Go ahead and put in our one dollar donation, which is kind of embarrassing, but let's do it. Go ahead and click the donate button.
They won't even accept the dollar. It has to be at least five dollars. I can't even donate! I just sold them for a dollar for no reason. I guess that's the end of this video. But I did sell the paintings. I mean, I'm kind of thinking it would be fun to make a series where I try and do really weird things and then try and somehow manage to donate to charity. So if you want to see a series like that, leave your ideas down below and like the video. If we get this video to a full 100 likes, I will assume that we can go further with this series and maybe do another episode of a crazy way to get money to charity and maybe actually be able to donate something. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you do want to donate to the Fred Hollis Foundation, please check out the link down below. They're helping support blindness prevention. It'll be the first link in the top of the description. Go ahead, donate what you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you guys all in the next video. Let's go. Peace out, guys. See ya.